Hey guys, it's Joe, and in this video I'll be explaining the ADSR envelope. You've probably seen the envelope on most synths and samplers that you've used. It's used to modulate an instrument's sound by affecting its loudness over time. So ADSR stands for Attack, Decay, Sustain and Release. Attack determines the time it takes for a note to reach its maximum volume after a key has been pressed. Instruments that have a quick attack include percussion, basses and pianos. Instruments with a slow attack include strings and pads. Decay determines how quickly the note drops to the sustain level after the maximum volume has been reached. Sustain is the continuous volume of the note after the decay, so this parameter is actually a volume level compared to the other parameters which are determined by time. If the sustain is high then it will be loud, and if it's low then it will be quiet. Release is how long it takes the note to completely fade out after the note has been released. Usually instruments and synths have a short release, such as percussion and pianos, but a long release can sound good in the right situations. So you use the ADSR envelope to help design the sound you want. You can use it for a lot of different things and I tend to use it to bring in variation in my tracks. So if I have a lead bass line for example, I may increase the attack and release parameters on it to make it sound a bit different and keep things interesting. Increasing the attack on any sound or sample takes away the harshness of the initial hit, as it is similar to having a small fade at the start of each note. So I'll play you a basic bass line here and increase the attack to show you what I mean. You can do the same thing for the release to make each note ring out more after it's been released. This can be good for more sparse parts as less notes will be overlapping. The decay and sustain levels are subjective to each part and will work around what else is going on. This will mainly determine the volume level of longer notes, so it can be good to experiment with this to help you adjust the volume in your mix. All these elements can be applied to any instrument and can have really interesting effects. The ADSR envelope is very useful to create a unique sound by shaping your synths and samples. I hope this video has been useful and if you have any questions please leave a comment or message me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching, cheers.